There's no denying that 2023 singles KC disappointed a lot of people because it arguably does not contain a new release. Now granted, these are technically new variants of Road Trip Mater and Road Trip Lightning McQueen. They are even marked as such there. But to what extent they're different as a release or as a variant is very, very subjective and is exactly what we're going to try and investigate in this video. We're going to try and answer, should these even be considered new for 2023? Or is Mattel pulling a fast one on us by marketing them as such. So yeah guys, I am so excited to open these up and see how truly different they are from their original releases that were just released a few months ago. So these came out of 2023 Singles KC. If you want to see me unbox that, I left a link in the description and card session pop-up. There's actually some good stuff in here. You got Holly Shiftwell, that's exciting. A couple Piston Cut Racers, Krusty Roder, Lee Revkins, and then you have Fabulous Hudson Hornet. So some good stuff, but probably going to be the worst case of the year. I'm just waiting for Zombie Car in case D, and it really is going to be an upward incline from here. It's going to get really exciting as we go into the new year. By the way, Happy New Year, maybe, if you're watching this around the time. I don't know. Let's just get right into the video. Now, there's a lot of confusion surrounding these two because, like I said, Mattel literally just released them a few months ago under the same exact names. So people are getting confused, and I'm going to try and clear up that confusion in the simplest and most concise way possible, starting with Road Trip Lightning McQueen here. So, yes, like I said, they did just release Road Trip Lightning McQueen, the same exact name. They are not differentiating these in the name at all. The way they are differentiating them very subtly is in the artwork there. So you could see the old version from August and they released it pretty much every month since then. You had Case K and pretty sure he was in LMB of 2023. And then now, of course, he is back in 2023 singles KC. So you will see these on the pegs at the same time. They are not phasing this one out. They're not discontinuing him. But yeah, there's the artwork for the old one. He is now looking off to his side. You could also see it was marked as new for 2022. Now it's marked as new for 2023. The back of the packaging of the new version has these four additional cars, Gearson, Marshall, Greebles, Griswold, and Royce Revsley. That's a lot of Gs. The other one just had the you know first wave of cars on the road singles. So for Road Trip McQueen, it's very simple. This is your old one, this is your new one, but they will be released concurrently and going forward. Like I said, to reiterate, this guy is not being discontinued. Mattel is like, yeah, we're going to release both of them because you don't have enough McQueens as it is. And yeah, it is pretty frustrating because 2023 KC was supposed to have Rusty's Muddy Racing Center Lightning McQueen, but they removed him and added another one of these. So you had two of those, two of Cars 1 McQueen, and two of this new McQueen. Now for Mater, it gets more complicated, so we have to go a little further back in time starting with the original 2022 Mater. This is just your regular old Mater that they've released from Thailand over the last you know, three, four years. It's your universal Mater. I guess you would associate this more with Cars 1, but it really can be applied to any of the movies. You do have the Cars 1 artwork on it though, but this Mater here released in just standard packaging for 2022 was no different than the quote unquote road trip mater that they started to release in case K with Speed Demon and Road Trip McQueen. Again, let me say that again. These two are identical. They are the exact same, but they are marketed very differently. This one's just called mater. This one's called road trip mater. It's got different artwork. It's on a different packaging. So, you know, to make casual collectors and fans, they think that these are different. This is your like regular Mater. This is your special road trip Mater. Like, oh, he's on the road. You know, this is the one that you see in the show. I mean, he looks the exact same, but yeah, they didn't give him new expression or anything of the sort. That laid the groundwork for the confusion here because when they did finally change him and actually make him different from the you know original Mater, they didn't change the name again. They are still calling him road trip Mater. The only saving grace in all this is that they didn't mark this as new. So they kind of escape any problems there. So again, 
the artwork has been literally flipped. Like it's pretty much you just like look at Microsoft Word and you flip horizontal, rotate horizontal because the artwork is pretty much the exact same. They did add the new 2023 logo there though, and this now truly is different from your original Mater. So again, let me go over that again. These two Maters here that were released up until this point, whether it be just your Red Riders regular packaging or your Road Trip packaging, they're the same. They're old, not new. You get this new one now, introduced in KC, we will see it again, it is new. Brand new, not released ever before. All right, so hopefully that clears up any confusion. If you guys are still, you know, a little questionable on it, just comment, you know, a question, and I will absolutely respond to you. So yeah, we pretty much went over the packaging again already. And the back of this one is the exact same, but sub out Mater for McQueen. Yeah, the other weird thing is that they aren't changing like the stock images. So you still see like a regular road trip McQueen there and you see a regular road trip or just regular old Mater there. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> At first glance though, it does look a little bit different, but eh, I'm pretty sure that is just the same. Let me get Revo Cost over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, they did change it. Oh my God, I'm glad. I knew I saw a difference. Wow, guys, look at that. They changed the stock images for McQueen. Wow, that is extremely impressive. On the left, you have the new Road Trip McQueen, and on the right, you have the old one. Wow, I am confounded right now. I cannot believe they actually changed that up. Wow. So there you guys have it. We're learning stuff as we go along. That is an extremely minute difference, but it is a difference. So, you know, on these previous road trip cars, like Revo, for example, you are going to have a picture of the previous version of Road Trip McQueen. And if you look at Mater here, they appear to have changed him as well. Oh my gosh. Let's see. I can't believe we're investigating. Yeah. Oh, it looks a little different to me. The eyelid seems to like bend around a little bit more there than it does here. It's certainly a smaller difference. The eyes look to be a little closer together. You could easily tell it with McQueen there. I mean, there's a bigger picture of McQueen. You could easily tell McQueen's expression is different. But yeah, I can't quite tell with Mater, but that is still very interesting. And yeah, wow, I'm glad that we got that out of the way. So now all of my bases are covered. Everything is in the books. You come here if you need to know anything about Road Trip McQueen and Mater. And I'll be right back with these all opened up. I still am in shock about that discovery. I really cannot believe they changed the stock image, but they should, like that is what they should have done. So I am glad they did it. All right, so I do wanna show a quick little pic of Mater and McQueen from OTR, just because I wanna set the stage for what we're gonna talk about and why I think maybe these should have been what Mattel led with instead of releasing the previous versions, especially for Mater, because this series was very jubilant very joyful, everybody's having fun, jumping around, lots of smiles, lots of laughs. And that is really especially what Mater here embodies. This is probably one of the coolest Maters I've actually you know seen in a long time. It's just something that we didn't need, like Mattel did not need to do this. And I know that they're doing it you know, to make money, of course, they're trying to make this one now the prominent Mater. They're like, all right, yeah, we probably should have started with this one, but you know, that's going to be just something that we cover up and now we're going to consider this like our true road trip mater. This is what we'll look at as road trip mater because he is now different from the previous version. So he's got the suspension here in the front, which is not a new feature. It's not something that we haven't seen before. In fact, we've seen it quite a bit, starting with mater with hood back in 2010. 
He's raised up pretty much the exact same way. A little bit higher now, it appears, but pretty much the same idea. They even did the backward suspension with one-eyed Mater also in 2010, where he's got his rear end up in the air. And then you had Mater with cone teeth having this as well. Again, yeah, that looks to be about the same height. Both of these now are Thailand. And then most recently, you have your 9551 Mater from 2021. And the models on these guys are pretty much the same. So that's why I wanted to bring them out because you could see where the mouth came from. And we'll try and figure out maybe where the eyes came from. But the mouth certainly came from this number 9551 Mater, which is a Mater that they completely just came up with. It doesn't appear anywhere, not even in like the post credits of Cars 3. It was probably, I think, yeah, they canceled it from China for that fan favorite series and then released it as a deluxe a year later. So there's your history on Mater's with suspension. I think the eyes might have derived from Race Team Mater. And they look kind of similar. Not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but they still look pretty good, pretty close, I would say. I'm trying to still figure out if the Maters on the card backs were different. They certainly don't represent or reflect the suspension in you know the stock image at all, so it's still kind of hard to tell. But this Mater has a texture unlike no other it is rough like i rub my finger across like his hood i guess like his fender wheel well and the back portion here which is of course all metal and it is rough like the matte finish on here is texturized oh my gosh like i know you can kind of even feel it on the regular version of the mater but once you get this one if you get this one in hand and you just pick him up, you'll immediately feel that grainy, kind of sandy, gritty. Gritty is a great way to describe it. Texture that this Mater has, and it just makes it feel real. It makes it actually feel heavier, and this is a heavy car. It is one of the heavier singles that Mattel releases, if not the heaviest, because, of course, Mater, for a good period of time, from like 2010 to 2018, this whole back portion here was plastic. So he was actually quite light. Thailand when they started doing stuff in Thailand he became all metal again which is fantastic it's one of the best things Thailand has done and this Mater certainly does not you know cower away from that so let's zoom in here on his expression which is just gorgeous it has so much life in it like Mater is really Mater I mean that's the best way to say it Mater is Mater in this diecast the older one, I mean, eh, looks a little robotic to me. We've seen that expression for over a decade now, but this really shows the personality of Mather in that he's always just out there to have a good time. The lucky go mentality, lucky go whatever, happy go lucky, there it is, mentality of Mather. I am here for it. I love it. I really am digging this release so far. Tow Mather towing and salvage radiator springs, same thing you can see that the sirens on the roof are a darker gray they aren't really silver as they are on this version here what else do we have different oh there's quite a few differences the siren itself there is a completely different shape this is like refined way better like it seems to be cut like an actual cone Whereas this is almost like a blob. It's like a drop of blood. These are red. These are white. Those lights up there. Of course, all the towing cables are plastic, but that is to be expected. Neither have the like working tow hook, though. I do want to point that out. A113 license plate, of course. Looks like these taillights are a little brighter. These are definitely darker. So are the hitches here. Those are way brighter. Not as dirty looking. Let's see when this guy was made. R42A, so the 42nd week of 2022 at the A factory. Wow, that's quite a bit of information on the base there. When was this guy made? R20. Oh my god, why are his tires so dirty? Mater, where you been, bro? <laughs> tires are nasty looking. Take a shower. But yeah, I love this Mater. I am so happy that they decided to do it. 
I think they absolutely should have led with it. Like this should have been Road Trip Mater from the get-go, but obviously they did not decide to go that route. At least we have it now. Now in the packaging, and of course I saw this before you know I opened it up. I saw it online before I got the case, and I was not a fan of the expression. It looked like why even change it if it's going to be so similar to what it was before? Because he's not looking off to the side. There's no you know suspension like Mater has. I really do still feel like he should have the expression that the card shows because I mean Mater really does kind of have it. I mean I know he's still also kind of looking to the side, but. The way I see it, he's kind of jumping up a little bit in this image, and that is reflected on the die cast, whereas with McQueen, it really isn't at all. However, I am liking this more and more now that I have him in my possession here. He just looks a little bit more real. Not entirely. I mean, he's still looking straight ahead, so you still have kind of that robotic vibe there, but I really like the mouth and that it's narrower. It makes him look flatter to me. And that's why I was thinking, like, I don't know, I brought this up in my unboxing that he was a different model. And it just kind of gives you that optical illusion. I mean, he looks just flatter. But, I mean, when you compare them, they are the exact same model. And, yeah, trust me, Mattel is not going to be going to any extra efforts to change the model of McQueen when they don't have to. I think the eyes are another nice touch on him. They're a little bit closer together. The eyelids a little bit more, like, it's like he's kind of... What's a good way to put it? Like raising his eyebrows a little bit and squunching his forehead. Something like that. And it just looks, again, natural, authentic. And I like it. Not as much as Mater, but I do like it. Let's see if the graphics are any better. I would actually say they are. On the road, that looks better to me than that does. So I like that. I like that. You have the new one on top. Light year tires, red rims, 95, pretty simple decals as we've always talked about for this. You have your gas cap there, roof flaps, 95 on the back. This is your new one, by the way, on the right. 95 decals are certainly a little different. Oh no, we're out of zoom. There we go. Bring him back in a little bit. There's the sweet spot right there. Let's take a look at the base here. R42A as well. And they have the little holes right there on either side. So the actual mater with working Toha can tow you. Which they did just release in the last case, in case B. Again, of course, they don't advertise that. See, Mattel is so weird in what they choose to advertise and what they choose not to. But in case B, and I didn't even notice this when I was doing the unboxing because they didn't advertise it, but you have one that looks exactly like this. Like you look at the front, looks like that. You look at the image, it looks like that. But the tow hook's the big boy. And it's the one that you could connect to these McQueens. Doesn't indicate that anywhere on the card like they did when they first released them in the two pack. So kind of silly to me, but there you have it, guys. Let me know in the comment section below out of these variants, which is your favorite and are you going to pick them up? Like to you, are they worth it? You know what? I feel like Mater absolutely should be considered a new release. I think he totally deserves it. Again, like I said, they should have released him like this in August when they started with On the Road, but he certainly deserves the new for 2023 logo now. You got the suspension, you got the different expression. Just a great release, honestly. I think this, you know, is almost as good as Gearston Marshall, quite frankly. McQueen, on the other hand, I am not sure. I don't really think so because Flip Dover had an equally, if not more, significant change when they released him than McQueen here, and they didn't label flipped over as new or anything like that. But then again, you got to think about, I mean, when you release these together, you kind of got to do both. It's kind of all or nothing, right? You either slip them under the radar, you don't call them variants or anything, or you market them both as such. And that's just ended up what they did. I think it probably was the right choice. I just still find it a little weird that, I mean, just a couple months ago, you released this and now we already have a new version. You're releasing them at the same time. Something again, that I don't really agree with. Same kind of methodology is not releasing 
Miles Axrod and Miles Axrod with microphone in the same exact case at the same exact time. Just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But hey, I'm just the guy that reviews cars on YouTube. I do not work for Mattel. A lot of people think I do work for Mattel. They'll like hit me up over email and they'll be like, hey, can you like ship out like 2023 singles case C when you get it? And I'm like, uh, no. And then they're like, when is... 2020 whatever case hitting like French Suriname or something French New Guinea I don't know naming off some random South American countries I'm like I have no idea when this random case is scheduled to hit your random country so I don't know I know it's a little mean but I just don't have that information all right guys are these variants sexy you tell me in the comment section below thank you for watching bye now